Welcome, welcome, welcome. Turn this fan down. Thing's so loud. You know, I got this little, I don't know if you've seen those little air conditioner things that run, um, can't really pick it up. It's just over there. It's this little thing and you fill it with water. It's really cool. Um, it's one of those as seen on TV things, but it seriously cools the air, but it's kind of loud. I don't know if you guys can hear that. I hope you can't, but it's really hot in this room right now. So I'm going to turn it on and off, but, um, actually let me just turn it off for right now. Um, this is the, uh, this is color cover FX blurring primer. I've been having, oh God, I, you know, when did we ever start with this? Like pores aren't like, we're not supposed to have pores. Do you ever notice that? You know, we went from trying to have nice looking skin to having skin that has no texture, has no life, has no nothing, you know, it became all well, these couple of really freaking deep pores. It's like a little, um, it's actually a deep pore. I pointed it out before on my cheek. It was the strangest thing when I was a teenager. I had this, yes, I'm using a ton of this because it just, it just kind of wiped off here. And if you, with these, um, with these pore type products, if you kind of press it in and press up, it will actually help fill that pore a little better. Let's see, it just, and, um, but you know, that's like the thing now, I guess. Let's blur all our pores. Let's make it look like we have nothing to our skin. Now, I've been really liking this for like daily wear. I'm using the color, this is number one. And I'm liking this because it's more of a cool tone. I don't know if you see, it's more of a cool tone of light color. It's got a little bit of peachiness to it, but I mean, it's like just enough for me. You have to use so much of this, though. It's the only thing I don't like. And you still only get, at best, a medium coverage. But I like it because it it lasts. It stays on. And, like, just for daily wear, when I don't want super, super full coverage, this is really amazing. Um, I did a kind of go shopping with me video yesterday. I didn't completely finish it. Um, it's We got a really bad storm here. So I did get some footage for it. But I'm going to, it's going to be me filming over like three days of me going out and checking out new products, um, whatnot. I'm almost finished with the... Uh, the brush video. Oh God, I got a hair right here and it's driving me nuts. I feel it. Don't you hate when that happens? And it's like you can't get it and you don't want to like wipe across your face. But I have noticed that this is more of a beauty blender type foundation. Um, the reason I say that, it also works with one of these. Um, let me show you with this. But this seems to kind of, actually this one doesn't work too bad. This one gives you a little bit more coverage. Of course, I've already went over it once. But you see the difference, the coverage I get? Um, I do like to kind of go over this with um, a brush. Um, this one really... I don't know if you guys have ever used one of these. This is the Pure Cosmetics one, and it's like a lot cheaper than the um, Artiste one. The Artiste one, I believe, is $68. But um, this one, I think I paid $35 for it, something like that. I can't remember exactly, $38. But it was a lot cheaper. But see, that just really helps that get in. But you see, I'm getting a light coverage right now. Now, if you want more of a coverage, you know, I'm piling the foundation on my face. But you know what? I have better do. I got an appointment here in a little while. My typical Wednesday appointment. Oh, where is that hair? 
Oh my God. I cut my bangs and I'm like not used to it yet. So anyway, this is the brush that I normally use. Um, this is the Sigma, um, what is it? The 3D brush. Now, let me show you how this does. See, I can get, I get a lot more coverage with that. But um, what I really like to do with this, um, I just wanted to show you how it applied with the different types of things. You know, most people do like one side, one side. I'm just kind of, I mean, you can see how it's, layering on there. I don't think you get an entirely good even blend with a brush with this for some reason. Um, I prefer to really use a beauty blender with this, which is crazy because if you watch me, I don't really prefer to use a beauty blender for anything. Now this foundation will crease, um, but I don't like to really set it. It will dry down. I just keep my beauty blender with some product on it. If I see it start to crease, it creases right here on me. And I just kind of tap it out a little bit and it, it'll dry. It'll dry down, it'll be just fine. But, oh my God, this, this is killing me. Sorry guys, <laughs> I've got a hair on my face and I can't find it. I feel it, it's like, you ever have that? Makes you think you're like nuts. But um, there wasn't any product on that. I do like to take, um, this is my furless. They actually discontinued these, I found out. This was the, the furless um, powder brush that I always use. It is just so densely packed and it's great for just like foundations that crease like this I like to keep there's just product left over from last time I used it not really anything on there substantial but foundations that crease that I really don't want to like majorly majorly powder my face and set it down I will grab this and just use really I can't even like you can kind of see it just kind of leaves a little let me see if I can show you that's not really I think I've got it all out now, but it, you know, um, after you use a brush, there's always a little bit of powder left in it, and um, that's kind of what I use. Now, um, I've been doing this kind of no makeup makeup look, and I've really been liking it. I've been using, let me put the lid back on that before I knock it over. It's the only thing with this, you use so much of this foundation. It's very, very watery, as you saw, and like you saw I had it in my hand, it does wipe pretty clean. But um, now that I am using a cooler tone foundation, it kind of leaves my skin. It doesn't look that bad on camera, but when I'm out in the sun, it just has this like blah look. Um, and I like to just bring a little bit of color, a little bit of life. I have, and in the spirit of the color, this is Give Me Life from the Patrick Star collection um, from his summer collection. This is a good deal. You get a quad with the four uh, eyeshadows in it. You get a bronzer. You get two lip glosses in there. And for to get MAC products for 50 bucks for that, I mean, you're going to spend like 30 I think these are $38. They're not cheap. But this is, um, this is my Marc Jacobs uh, bronzer brush any bronzer brush. I like a big fat rounded head like that for bronzer and I like to pat it in there and just kind of pat it in the cheek like that. I'm not I'm not going to be using blush. I'm not going to be using any other product. I'm just using this. And what I'm doing is just kind of warming up the face, giving it back kind of the natural uh color areas of your face where the high points of your cheeks places where the sun would hit um on my forehead i like to just kind of pat it right at the hairline and right at the corners of my forehead bring it up right across my nose a little bit and i just of course i like to have kind of a shadow to my chin area and my neck area not like major major but see i mean you can tell that i have a little product on there you want to blend that really well 
but it just really, I like this, the one point that I really like to make sure I have product is right there and bring it around. You see how I just kind of, I kind of just really gave my face, my face that natural, that the natural kind of glow back to it really. Um, that's, that's really about it. Um, now I will take a powder brush and just kind of make sure that I've softened all those lines. There's no, no product on this, but what I'm doing is just kind of, kind of make sure that the edges are softened. See, you see that line right there? I don't like that. I just want to soften that off. I want to make it look like I really don't have makeup on today. Uh, and that's really about it now of course my eyes will look like I do have a little bit of product on because um, the colors I tend to I tend to like to use a little bit of color um, let me just grab I don't even know what I just grab any palette uh, actually this is the ice cream palette from um, uh, is this dose of, yeah dose of color I'm sorry Dose of color, and I'm going to grab a really, really fluffy, fluffy, like almost like obscenely fluffy brush. This is probably, if you can see, it's as white as my finger. It's as white as my thumb. It's a big fluffy brush. And I'm going to go into berries and cream right here. I'm going to pick up a decent amount of product. Pat that off. And I'm just going to kind of, see, warm that up a little bit. Not really warm it up, but just kind of, I'm going to kind of highlight actually. The top right here. I haven't done my eyebrows yet. And then I'm going to go into Berry Swirl right here. Same thing. I'm going to pick up a decent amount of product. Make sure that it's patted off. Close my eye. And I'm just going to kind of barely warm up that crease. See? Just barely kind of warm up that crease and bring it in. There we go. Now, like I said, the colors that I choose tend to make it look like I do have a little more makeup on than I'm really going for. I'm going back into Berries and Cream, that first light color, and I'm just going to kind of highlight a little more up here at the brow bone. You can also come in right here in the center, and I'm just kind of, kind of getting in that inner corner and brush it up. Same thing, inner corner, and brush it up. See, you don't want to lose that. You don't want to lose that color right at that edge of that crease right there, you see? I mean, it's not like super, super noticeable. You want it super, super blended right there. Really just blown that color out. And if you feel like you're getting a line there, you just really want to come in there. Apply it just a light bit of pressure with your brush. You hold your brush more towards the end, and I like to hold it with two to three fingers like this, mainly two, and that just takes that tension off of there, so you're not pushing really hard, but you can add a little pressure and just keep going back into your washer motions and kind of little circles and just really blow that color out. See, where you look at, you're looking and you're thinking, well, it looks like maybe she has a little bit of eyeshadow on, I'm not really sure. Maybe that's natural. I, I wear glasses, keep that in mind. So that's going to show up a little less noticeable than it is right now with my glasses off. Now I'm going to take a, I think this is a little Sephora brush. Elf, if you go to the Elf brush, they actually call this thing a crease brush. Now this is, let me compare this to my thumb. It's a very tiny little flat but fluffy brush. And I'm going to come into that berry swirl, tap that off, look up, and just really come under that lash line. You don't want to super concentrate that color. You just want to blow that color out. And you can also come up here on the top lash line and do the same thing. Now, this is a nice look that if you're out in the summertime and you're really worried about, you know, your makeup not lasting... This is a great look for that because this wears very well because it is a light wash of color. It wears very well and it doesn't doesn't really uh, run where some colors will run all over your face. 
I do like to kind of extend that corner of my eye out right there, you see? I do the same thing over here. Just gonna kind of come down and then kind of come up in that corner. And what that does is that gives that little, almost appearance, almost appearance of a shadow, but you know, a kind of wing and that brings that eye out and it just really makes your eyes look a little bigger. <sighs> Now, if you want, at this point, you could put a little something on the lid, kind of a shimmer if you want, um, or you could just leave it. Um, sometimes I like to go in, I love this little yellow color, and sometimes I will just pop that yellow right there. I'll pop it on, but then I'm going to really blend that out with my finger. I'm just going to really buff that in to that lid where see it just gave that little bit of color same thing on this one just gonna pop that on and I'm gonna buff that in the reason why I say to buff it in is you're really just you want more of a wash of color you don't really want like a noticeable like see how that's really that's more noticeable so what I will do is go back with that same brush we used at first I'm just really going to buff that in and kind of blend it in with the other colors. I want the little bit of lightness on that front part of my lid, but I want it to blend in with the rest. And see, that just gave a nice, pretty little wash of color. You can also, if you want, blend that bottom out a little more at this point. I do like to go ahead and put some um, liner in my waterline. And as we all know, Sumatra is my favorite. This is uh, Smashbox. Uh, they're, um, what are these things? Always sharp, waterproof, coal liner in Sumatra. And I like to go ahead and just pop that lightly into my waterline and kind of, I run it into my waterline, but I'm also pulling it down forward a little bit. I know that kind of looks gross looking in my eye it down forward and like working it in to see that lash line so it kind of gives it a more of a smoky look where if you just put it into the waterline let me do this one just in the waterline you'll see what I'm talking about see what I'm talking about where this one worked it into the lashes and this one just kind of sitting there you want that kind of blown out kind of look and you get it on the waterline, then you come into the lashes, and you don't want to like go crazy because you don't want to clump your lashes together, but you want to work that into that lash line. And that just gives a nice little base for the underneath of your eye. I will also take my finger and just kind of make sure that I've got that neatly under there. And um, unfortunately, I didn't bring my mascara in here. Let me grab my mascara and I'll be right back. Gotta love when you leave your mascara in the bathroom, but I've really been loving this. This is from Tarte. This is Lifted. This actually came in my Fab Fit Fun Box, and this is a sweat-proof mascara. And this is in the color. It's not on the tube, is it? This is the uh, brown black. So it's not like dark, really dark. Let me see if I can kind of show you the. See, it's more of a hard to shade the color see it's not real black it's hard to see not in completely person but um this really just lifts those lashes it's not a real heavy as I put myself in the eye it's not a real heavy mascara and I like it when you do a mascara always make sure you get the top of your lashes because you're gonna have that you gonna make sure to get the color all the way around I like this because this is sweat proof, this is cry proof, this is pull proof. And it's just, see, it's a nice little color, wash of color. It's not really bright. I mean, well, it's not really dark, I guess I should say bright. It's not really dark because you are going with a black brown, um, or a brown, brown black, excuse me, whatever. You know, so you're not getting that really stark look to your lash. your lashes. Um, our lashes aren't black. And we all want them to be, I guess, you know, when you're doing a real glam look, you, you like your glasses, your glasses, your lashes to look really stark, really dark, dark black. Now, if 
for this look, we're just wanting them kind of defined, you know. And I like to go slowly right at the lash line and slowly pull upward. See, and that just gives you some right at the lash line. Slowly pull upward. You can even rotate the, the brush. I rotate it towards me, which pulls those lashes up. As I'm doing it, you see I'm rotating that lash brush. And it's really pulling those lashes up. Now, I do have pretty long freaking lashes. And um, people ask me why I don't do falsies. I will do falsies if I do a super glam look or if I'm going somewhere special. But um, as far as really like on the daily, I don't. And the reason being is I like my lashes and everybody that I've noticed that wears lashes all the time, what do you notice about them? Well, and I noticed this from watching a lot of YouTube. They always wear lashes for one because their lashes are very thin. They talk about it constantly. Um, that was really hard to get that off to. And uh, when you see them put their mascara on, you see where their lashes are real sparse. They have a lot of them missing and they're just not as pretty as they could be. And that is a lot to do with just, you know, neglecting your lashes. If you don't take care of your lashes, they ain't gonna hang around just like your teeth. I'm gonna take this um, Ready Set Radiant from Tarte. You can really take any kind of spray. You don't even have to use a setting spray. I like to use a setting spray all the time. I like this one because it's got a lot of glow to it, a lot of life to it. And I always take my Patrick Star <laughs> face face uh, charts. These are great for making sure your uh, face is dry. But see, I don't even ha I don't have any highlighter on. I don't really have a lot of color to my face. That just gives a nice wash of color. Now, as far as for my lips, I've really been liking this. This is the Velvet Lip Glide. I just bought this yesterday. And I've actually been enjoying it so far. It's not a lip gloss. It's not a liquid lipstick. It's called a lip glide. It's got a, it's got a decent amount of pigment. It's got a little more pigment, I feel like, than a uh, lip gloss. And this is in the color Bound. It's kind of like a hybrid of a lipstick. Let me show you how the, this is the color here. And you can see it's really kind of a, it's kind of a thicker formula than a lip gloss. It's hard to see on, on, on camera, but it's a little thicker than a lip gloss, but it's not as thin as a, as a lip gloss. It's a little, a little more moisturizing than a, actual lipstick. Now I like it because it is a pretty little wash of color. I like to put it on and then just kind of I always like to work it into my lips like that. And to me I just think that just kind of adds a little it's a little darker than my natural color not by much it just kind of adds life to my natural color. And that's really what I'm trying to do with this look. I don't want to look like I'm wearing a super ton of makeup, you know. And um, I just want to have that kind of put together look. And I think that's what it kind of gives. And my hair looks... I've had my hair in a ponytail for hours. Can you tell? My hair gets so stringy. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this. I just wanted to kind of put together a video and show you guys kind of... Um, this is... Maybe a little more makeup than you like to wear. This might be a little less makeup than you like to wear. You can adjust this. I was just kind of showing you. This is my kind of no makeup makeup look. And the reason why I say no makeup makeup look, I'm talking more about the face because I like to concentrate color on the eye. But as you see, none of the eye colors except for like the eyeliner and the smokiness around my eyes are really standout-ish um, as far as the shadow colors. They're just kind of pretty little wash of color. It just gives your face that kind of pretty glowy kind of color um, without looking like you've got a ton of makeup on.
But I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time. Thanks. Bye.